better than any paid campsite in my opinion. I think this is a perfect spot to go fishing. There we go. That's a nice one. Yeah, good sized bass there. Rain's really coming down now. I might have to take shelter soon. I think the bushcraft burritos are done. It's time for some turkey hunting. Hopefully I can find my way back and hopefully we get a turkey. I'm out here in cottage country. I'm gonna be doing some camping on crown land as well as some fishing and some hunting. And we're getting there by canoe. Got the canoe all packed up. Enough supplies to last me quite a while. Okay, and we're off. Water is nice and calm. I have enough supplies to last me basically as many days as I'd like to stay out as long as the fishing and hunting is good. But I'm hoping to stay out for three days. Nice little solo trip. Recharge the batteries a little bit. This campsite is one of my favorites. It's the first campsite I actually went camping at when I was a little kid. My dad took me out there and it's where I fell in love with camping. And I'm excited to go back after all these years. It's been quite some time. Right now, it is turkey season and perch are in season as well. I do have my firearm here as well as my fishing rods. Nobody around for miles. Getting close. All right, here we are. Okay, made it. Established fire pit, some nice benches. This is perfect. I think I'll make camp right here. All right. Okay, I brought a lot of gear, but that's because I'm on the canoe and no portages, so Pretty easy to carry it. Yeah, should be a good trip. Pretty nice campground, I have to say. Didn't get much better than this. Hopefully the fishing and the hunting are just as good. Oh man, I love it up north. Lots of good firewood. Just laying around, I think I'm First guy to camp here in a while. Very decent pile there. In the summer this will all be picked clean, but since it's early in the season, I get first crack at it all. The idea with these rigs, as you can see, there's two hooks on here and a weight at the bottom. And you're supposed to hit the bottom, reel up a little bit, and then you have these two hooks um, with the bait on it. So hopefully they work. Not sure if you caught that, but a loon was swimming right beside me. All right, let's see if we can catch some perch. Water's nice and calm. Some bites here. Oh, okay. So we got a perch. <laughs> Pretty small. At least it's the right species that I'm going for. 
Yeah, I'll let, let that one go. These aren't like the Simcoe giant perch. <laughs> so peaceful out here. I had a nice steak dinner. Now it's off to bed. Peace out. Rained pretty hard last night and this morning. Water's a little bit more choppy, but still not too bad. I'm gonna try my luck at some more fishing. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get some more perch. Man, canoeing is such a good workout. The weather could be better. It's cloudy and rainy. It's been raining all morning, but stopped. Hopefully it gets a little better now. I'm just heading to a fishing spot where I've had luck in the past, so I'm hoping there's some perch there. Fry some perch up. say this in every video but so lucky to be able to use crown land you know it's free to use no reservation it's awesome better than any paid campsite in my opinion Crazy how choppy it was out there and then you get behind the trees here and it's so calm. I think this is a perfect spot to go fishing. Oh, it's starting to rain. Still getting bites though. So just stick it out. There you go. A little rock bass. right by the stump. I don't know if you can see it under there and I thought that's a good place to catch fish. Yeah. Nice. These things are annoying because they have these spikes. Fortunately not a perch, not what we're looking for. You can keep these but I don't know. Not a fan of eating rock bass. Let them go. Sweet. There we go. That's a nice one. Woo-wee! That's a good bass right there. Large mouth. Yeah, good sized bass there. Fortunately, it's not bass season. So, we gotta let him go. And he's off. Whew, that was a fun little fight. <laughs> Damn, that was a good one. Bass season's coming up in a few months, so not too much longer to wait. <laughs> it's funny when you can catch on a tiny little hook. Everyone's, everyone's always like, oh, you're using the little hooks. I caught that bass on this hook. 
<laughs> you can see that tiny little hook size of my fingernail rain's really coming down now i might have to take shelter soon now i caught that big bass i don't i don't want to leave i think i better head back to the shelter I always go out fishing later it's funny yesterday was like so warm, sunny, perfect. Looks like the rain will stop around four tonight, so for now. Just chilling out, relaxing, enjoying the sounds of the rain and warming up. But I have to take a whiz right now and I just got warm. Don't you hate that? <laughs> well I totally passed it out there for I don't know how long, but Throw on some camo. <laughs> it's the only dry stuff I have. So I'm gonna get a fire going and then hopefully I can dry out all my clothes and cook something to eat because I'm starving. Hello world. Good fire starter. This might make a nice log, I'll have to cut this up, but it feels fairly dry. So it's okay to take bark off of the birch tree. Just don't take too much off and don't take it from the entire tree. Just a little bit here and there. You should be fine. It's a great fire starter. See how good birch bark is to get the fire going? Don't be the guy who throws your broken beer bottle in the fire. Come on guys, come on. Yeah, I'd have to say that birch is working wonderfully. Just put that stuff on two seconds ago. 
Okay. So this grill here is actually a tripod stand and you can set it right over the fire and raise and lower the grill. It's awesome, so I'm gonna set that up right now. I know you could do it out of wood, but I'm lazy, so got the metal version. Just get three of these little poles, snap them together, snap the end in here. Yeah, you do that two more times. You got yourself a little grill. Okay, I might have to wait for the fire to die down a little bit. It's going pretty heavy. kind of how it works like that. Just balance it over the fire. You can raise this up, lower it, you know, wherever you want to put it. Works great. Fire's still too big, but I'll put it on there in a sec. My cast iron pot's got a little rusty from the rain. So I'm just gonna give them a nice clean. And put some oil on them and give them a nice seasoning as well. You have to take care of your cast iron pans. They'll last a lifetime if you do, but if you don't, they'll get rusty. So try not to leave them in the rain like I did. I see a little bit of blue over there. Two pots, nicely seasoned. Now it's time to make some dinner. Okay, this is a very complicated recipe that I invented, but try to keep up. So, you have your first major ingredient, some instant rice, a dash of water. You get your choice, doesn't matter which kind. Got some tuna. Add that sucker in there, some nice protein. It's very important that you stir that up nicely. We'll throw this directly on the fire. It is a spring and black bears are just waking up from hibernation. Hopefully they don't like the, the smell of tuna, but I think they might. Whatever, I got my 12 gauge full of slugs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I'll give you a little tour of the campsite. Back behind me here, we have the entranceway. That's where I came in on the canoe. Fire pit, I'm cooking up my dinner. Got my sleeping area, my tent. This is a pretty well used campsite. So there is already established sleeping areas. Most of them are fairly flat. I always seem to take this spot. I don't know why. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Cribs, uh, woods edition. Not gonna lie, this is actually like fire. No pun intended, this is a really good meal. <laughs> you got your carbs, you got your protein. Hey, don't drop it, don't drop it. Get yourself two or three wraps. Toss them in there. Give them a little fry back on there. Okay. All right. I think the bushcraft burritos are done. Let's try these suckers out. Any nice warm meal in the woods is so good though. Man, it's delicious. I'm gonna go out for one more little fishing session before it gets too dark. Put the headlamp on just in case.
There we go. Oh, are you serious? He took my worm. Uh, it's maybe a weird train of thought, but sometimes when I'm hunting or fishing or even just camping, I'm just thinking like, if this was a real life survival situation, would I be able to survive? And with this trip, it's like, it's a definite yes. Like I have basically unlimited food when it comes to fish. If I'm just patient, I seem to keep catching fish. And we'll see about the hunting, but the fishing is definitely good this time of year. Like I've, I haven't spent that much time fishing and I've caught like four or five fish. And like, see, I got another one there. Like just as I was saying that, see, that's a good, if this is bass season, man, this thing would be perfect. Smaller than the other one I got, but I think I found the method of catching these things. It's a, a bigger worm and they just go for it. Wow. All right. Have fun. <laughs> like that was two minutes of fishing and I caught that one. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> I think it's another bass. <laughs> hey. Whoa. That's a perfect size for eating. So if I leave the worm you know, a little bit longer, I find the fish tend to go for it. Man, fishing is so much easier in the summer when you don't have to target one species. You kind of just go for everything, at least where I'm at. Okay, my regular clothes were able to dry out and it's starting to get dark. So I think I'm just gonna sit by the fire. Not much else to film tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And you know, we might just go hunting for some turkey. See you then. Okay, it's time for some turkey hunting. I think I'm gonna leave my decoy behind. Try to just call him in. It's too cumbersome to carry out here. Just gonna walk all the trails listening and hopefully we find a turkey first things first gotta blow the crow call once I'm in the woods a little bit I'm excited to explore these woods I've never done so before hopefully I can find my way back and hopefully we get a turkey Whew. again the bugs are bad today I think I'm gonna start off on this trail I don't know if you see on camera, there is a trail here. See how far we can get. It's my first time hunting on crown land as well. All right, let's blow this crow call, see if we can find some turkeys.
have to keep rolling. I can't stay still with these bugs. It'd be kind of cool to see a black bear out here. I made it to the other side of the lake. campsite. Looks like they're drinking pretty heavy. Jeez. Okay, I've been chatting with another crow. In the distance, not sure if you can hear it. gonna sit here for about 30 40 minutes see what happens probably do three calls throughout that time I haven't seen any sign of turkey no footprints I haven't heard any it's the wrong time of day to be doing this but kind of limited on time right now All right, I think, that's, I think that's about it for me. Not a very long turkey hunt, but still got to explore the woods, Ugh, get attacked by bugs. Yeah, maybe I'll come back in the fall. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's time for me to pack up and get out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.